They learned that in case after case, Dr. Gosnell and his assistants induced labor, forced the live birth of viable babies in the sixth, seventh, and eighth month of pregnancy, and then killed those babies by cutting into the back of their necks with scissors and severing their spinal cords. He probably earned approximately $1.6, $1.8 million uh, in a one year. That he had, when the search warrant was executed, he had $240,000 in cash hidden in his daughter's room. Um, but your question as to uh, the disparity and the jury was very upset with what they thought was disparate treatment in that, uh, of course, the majority of women that came to this facility to receive medical treatment or what they thought would be legitimate medical treatment were black, brown, and yellow. And the doctor, in his own words, <clears throat> uh, when asked, you know, when, when, when young white women would come, they were placed in a separate room that, while still squalid, was a little bit cleaner. And when asked by his own employees why he did that, he said, well, this is the way of the world. Uh, and that he was afraid that it'd be more likely that young white women from the suburbs or from out of state may report what happened. And that them reporting it might uh, cause a reaction from the Department of Health. While this is uh, the most horrific case I have viewed since I've been the district attorney or uh, since I graduated from law school in 1992, uh, I'm still going to uh, give this the appropriate due process that I'm giving all cases uh, in the review uh, to see if there are uh, satisfactory aggravating circumstances for me at the appropriate time to put the defendant and defense counsel on notice for our request for the death penalty. There was a jar, jars lining shelves with severed feet that he kept for no medical purpose. Um, there were remains of, there were fetal remains in the same exact refrigerator that the employees had their lunch in that day. 